Hey there, I'm Chris from Klangio. Now you may think that recording is a lost cause, but today I will prove you the opposite. Because I will show you how to improve the quality of your piano and correct errors even after recording it. So it sounds from this to this. And it is way easier and faster than you think. So let's begin, shall we? So first off we will open up the explorer and find our audio file that we want to improve, which is this one here. And next up we will open up our browser and go to klang.io. And in here we will go under products and select piano to notes. You can also find a direct link to this in the description below. Now we will scroll down a little bit and in here we can drag and drop the file that we've just found in our explorer. So I will do that. You can now edit the title and the author of the recording, accept the terms and conditions and finally click on transcribe. And now just within a couple seconds I get sheet music of what I've just played. That alone already kind of fixes the problem. We can already go here under download and save the PDF. And then we can go and play it again on a proper piano with proper recording equipment. But we want to go fast. So instead I will show you a way quicker way how to do that with technology. So we're back at the music sheet that we've just transcribed and now instead of save as in PDF we will export MIDI unquantized. And that file I will simply copy into the folder that I've used before. And now we will open up a digital audio workstation. Mine is called Reaper but you can use any you like. And all I do now is drag and drop that .mid file that we've just downloaded into the DAW. And now if we press play we can't hear anything because these are just notes. We still need an instrument that should play these. So for that I will click on effects and I will go for additive keys. That's a piano VST I like to use. But of course you can use any instrument or synthesizer that you like. And now if we press play. It already sounds so much better. Now I will just figure out a preset that I like. And of course everything sounds a little better with some reverb, so I will also add that. And now all that's left to do is fix that horrible error that I made. For this we will double click onto the track. And I know the error is in the very last chord, so... Yeah, that must be the note. So I will just click it and hit delete. And now if we play it again. Congrats, we just fixed an error of the past. Now we're basically time travelers. And the time and effort that we used was nothing in comparison to re-recording the whole thing. Professionally, I guess. So thanks a bunch for watching. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, feel free to subscribe and like the video if you want to know more about all the fun things that you can do with music transcription. And if you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Bye.